Thank you. New tonight, we're learning more about the Duval County Jail inmate who died in custody this week. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says 64-year-old Renee Ray Carter was found dead Tuesday in his isolated cell. Officials say his cause of death is undetermined, but they believe he may have had a medical emergency. Our Cheyenne Cole has been digging into police reports this evening. And Cheyenne, I know you found out that Carter has been arrested four times since last September. That's right, Anthony, and he was accused of trespassing in every case. In September and October of 2022, he was arrested twice for trespassing and defying orders to leave a business. Later, the charges against him were dropped, and he was ordered to go to a mental health facility for an exam both times. 64-year-old Renee Ray Carter is the 15th inmate to die in custody at the Duval County Jail this year. Carter was homeless, according to reports from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. He was arrested twice in the span of a month last year for trespassing and defying orders to leave a medical business. Court documents show judges ordered him to go to a mental health facility for an evaluation both times. Solzbacher Center CEO Cindy Funkhauser says it's common for homeless people to have medical and mental health issues. It can happen to anybody and that's what people need to understand. But once it does happen, then people spiral quickly because being on the street is extremely difficult and traumatic, and if you're already sick, you get sicker. In September, Carter was cited for trespassing and refusing to leave a Walmart on Normandy Boulevard. Officers arrested him again on November 22nd for trespassing at a dentist's office, where the complainant showed police a photo of him taking a nap inside. The report says almost two weeks before, police were called to the same location and warned him not to go on the property again. Funkhauser says more people are experiencing homelessness because of the rent hikes in Jacksonville. Particularly uh, women and families um, coming into the pipeline and we just really do not have enough resources um, from the housing perspective. She encourages anyone struggling with being unhoused to use the day center downtown across from the jail. They have a place to go where they can get showers, where they can get meals, where they can get job counseling. We have all of our health clinics behind us. Carter's arraignment was scheduled for next Tuesday. His death is under investigation. Reporting in the newsroom, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News on your side.